Hello, everyone. It is a pleasure to be part of this digital edition of Cybos. And I'm delighted that so many of you are able to connect in this extraordinary year for the global community. We left Cybos London last year with good momentum in the industry. Lots of big plans ahead of us. But obviously, you always have to expect the unexpected. And 2020 has certainly delivered on that. As Jamie and Yawar have said, the global pandemic has touched all of us. And let's face it, it has made us all pause and reflect. One year into the CEO job, that's certainly been the case for me and the entire SWIFT management team. It has been an important reminder of the fundamental role we play in global finance. And what is really most important for you? So we have focused strongly on delivering operational excellence and of course, at the same time, supporting the health and well-being of our staff around the world. We're certainly now in a period of adaptation across all major economies, and I'm very conscious of the intense challenges that the pandemic has brought so far to our industry and will continue to bring. And even in this challenging context, I believe we can look ahead with optimism about what we can solve and achieve together. And that is exactly what SWIFT's new strategy is all about. The SWIFT board unanimously approved our two-year transformation plan in September. And I'm delighted to see banks, corporates, and even fintechs coming on the journey with us. Our vision is to be an instant global network for all cross-border transactions, enabling all financial institutions to transact account to account anywhere in the world in an instant. We are talking about the potential of up to 4 billion accounts around the world interconnected so that cross-border transactions will be instant, frictionless, and as seamless as domestic ones. Concretely, what does that mean for our two main franchises? Well, in payments, we will create new opportunities to help you strengthen in existing markets, such as our core B2B space, while opening up new opportunities for the future in SME and consumer segments, and at the same time, creating an integrating ecosystem with other platforms, for example, trade platforms. In securities, the aim is to support all asset types, including tokenized assets, and to help the industry make processes like reconciliation and reporting more efficient and less complex. The time is right for SWIFT to build on its robust foundation and to move to the next level. We are innovating the underlying technology that you use to make your transactions run even faster end to end. At the same time, we're reducing costs for the whole community through industry shared services in the areas of cyber, fraud, and compliance, so that you don't have to focus on building or buying one-offs. And the data innovation that we bring embeds risk and control elements that you would expect from SWIFT to support your business-critical operations. You may have heard me say before, I consider SWIFT as a grown-up fintech. Grown-up because we've been around for a while and fintech because with this new strategy, we are innovating even further than ever before. So over the next few years, our platform will go way beyond today's capabilities. It will be based on state-of-the-art technology, end-to-end -end transaction management, and rich data, with ISO 20022 a central part of the strategy. Our platform will mutualize services such as pre-validation, fraud detection, for example, leveraging data analytics as well as evaluating going deeper into screening services, reducing costs that are typically carried by each bank individually. And one crucial element of our platform is that it will be backward compatible, essentially allowing every single one of our customers to adopt the channel of their choice at their own pace. So what excites me the most is that we can build an even more appealing financial ecosystem with strong foundations and bring even more energy and innovation into financial services. And what really matters to me in developing this new strategy is that it's based on responsible innovation. That's in our character as an industry-owned cooperative with a trusted global network. Because first and foremost, you can trust the quality of transactions over SWIFT with end-to-end -end data integrity. Essentially, immutable transactions with no possibility of data truncation. And of course, our mandate as a cooperative is to maintain the highest levels of security, resilience, and availability of services, backed up by strong governance and oversight. So yes, 
we're renewing our technology to deliver instant and frictionless, but we're doing it in a responsible way. I have met many financial institutions over the past few months, well, <laughs> virtual meetings, of course, and we've had great conversations as we define a roadmap that will provide the underlying infrastructure for the industry's future. So I'm excited by it because we are creating a platform with faster technology, smarter and better services that you can trust so that you have a reliable foundation for innovation towards your own clients. So this year, of course, is a very different Cybos, an exercise in agility in and of itself. It is a pity we couldn't get together in Boston, but I think we have captured the essence and there are truly some outstanding thought leadership sessions. There are also going to be some great opportunities to connect digitally with colleagues all around the world. But of course, I also really look forward to the next opportunity to be together in person. Thank you, and I wish you all a great Digital Cybos. Thank you.